everybody. How's it going? I went to town. I got a few things. I got some groceries. I went to the second hand store. Oh my goodness, I found some I found a few nice things. But some things, I don't know. Also very expensive. Okay, for everybody who hasn't seen my hair yet, I cut my hair. <laughs> See? I took it, all the dead stuff off. I gave myself some bangs because I was seeing some lines there. Yeah, so hiding my lines. Yep, I try to stay out of the sun as much as I can. I got bit this morning. Can it see right there? I still have a red ring where I got bit by a spider. Yes, I did, and I'm allergic to it. So, yeah, not good. It itched really bad, it woke me up. So, okay, so what should I start with first? Uh, the boring stuff. I got some spoons. Big spoons, because we know my silverware got stolen. I did find four spoons. They're heavy. Uh, stainless steel. This one. I don't know. What's it made out of? Can't be anything good. It's light. But these are stainless steel. A dollar each for those. Or four for a dollar or something. I don't know. I got this ice cream scooper slash dough scooper for making um, cookies. <laughs> Some cookies. Cookie dough. Measuring out my cookies. I got these three um, little Ordorvi forkies. Or shrimp forks, or maybe even uh, escargot, escargot, whatever. But I'll be using those as for like pickles and stuff on the serving trays. That's what those are for. I got. Oh, hang on. You guys know I I collect my spoons, right? From all over. There was one there from India and she wanted like $15 from it. This store is not not like the Salvation Army store I used to go to at all. <laughs> uh, oh, I'll say this one and this one. Okay, I got this one. I can't see. I got this one, the Pope. I got the Pope's spoon. Yep. So I don't know what Pope, I can't see the writing, but I got the Pope spoon. I got a cruise ship spoon, little spoon. Isn't that cute? It's got some writing on the bottom. I like the ones with the writing on the bottom and these little things. Like these are older. And this one's the Canada Goose. Little kind of Canada goose spoon. Yep. Uh, this one is fancy. I think this is an Indian teaspoon for tea, for loose tea. Making Indian tea. I think that's what this is. Isn't that pretty? There was a cup, a brass cup. Seriously, she wanted $15 for it. I was gonna get it, but I don't. I don't have that kind of money. But I got this one. Isn't it pretty? With some beads on it. 
So I think that's what this is. It's a, a teaspoon, it's like for loose tea, Indian tea, green tea, Chinese tea. I think that's what this is. And then I got this one and I love it because it got so much writing on it. It's, it's Canada one. Uh, I wish I could tell you more because I can't see at all. But I think it's something uh, with skating on it, I think. Um, I don't know. But look at this one. Isn't this a gorgeous spoon? For all you spoon collectors. Isn't that a gorgeous spoon? It's got sockeye salmon on there. It's got... A grizzly bear on there. I think a deer. I think the maple leaves. I don't know, but look, isn't that pretty? Isn't that gorgeous? When I find out what I, this is, I'll let you know. But I can't see the writing. So yeah. That's pretty. And then I got Collectors Ducks Unlimited Fish and Wildlife Bottle Opener. See? Corkscrew Lift Beer Thingy. Ooh. Some sort of Cork lifter, I don't know. But anyways, it just says Target, so this is probably a 3D shoot. And they had Fish and Wildlife, 3D targets. This probably just wasn't one of the prizes. This is Target. goes into um, game, game conservation and stuff. Then I got this one. This one is from the Le Chateau Saint Crete. I have to look up that. What hotel that is. Le Chateau Saint Crete. So I don't know if that's in Quebec, in Banff, Paris. I don't know, but definitely a French hotel. So I got that. And then I got this for the puppy, brand new. She said it was brand new, just the box was all broken. So they took it out. I got a teething thing for puppy, a little dinosaur. It's a hard, it's a hard plasticky thing that he can rub his, his gums on, teeth on. I don't know, I, it's pretty freaking hard, but I guess you want it hard for the bigger dogs. So anyways, I got him, a, got him a little toy, got a dinosaur one. I got a cup for me, huge cup. Look at that. It says liquid therapy on it. <laughs> Perfect for me. I think this is a two cup holder, maybe even a three cup holder. But yeah, this is like a half a pot <laughs> coffee mug. So that's awesome for in the morning because I need that liquid therapy. So that's what I got for the there. Little spoons. So put those away. I won't get them broken. Okay, I got some pots. I got this pot strainer thingy. You put on the pot, strain it. So, no more losing my noodles when I'm straining my pots. 
I got this massive lid for one of my frying pans. I don't have a lid for. It's by Lacoste. Lacostiana stainless steel. Yep, good for the oven. Won't break. I got some very vintage Pyrex. I took the lid for off of something else for it. It's 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 a uh, one of these bluish gray. It's been it's been around <laughs> for sure, but it's vintage. It's cloudy. It's well well used. I can't. I got this one too, but you can put it upside down and use it as as a lid. You know. So yeah, you can use it as a lid. So I got that. And this glass lid, well, works for a cover as well. So, isn't that awesome? So I got that. Oh, where am I gonna put all you guys? Oh, hang on. Got some missing bowls since mine was stolen. These are heavy duty. These are heavy duty. These can't these can't go into the I don't think these can go into the oven. But they're heavy enough. They got a little pour spout on there. They're heavy enough that uh it's got kind of like little handles on there, lip handles on that one, and then this one. So, it's not going to slide off the counter too easy. And they're pretty heavy. They don't say Pyrex or anything on there, so you can't put them in the oven. They will break. Okay. I got two pots. I got two pots, a heavy duty one, nice thick pot, this is a nice pot, I don't know who these are by, you know, they're not the greatest because they only have rivets, they don't have bolts going all the way through, you know, but they're good stainless steel, for sure, you know, they're good pots. So I got that one with the lid. And then I got this soup pot, this soup pot right here. Nice, a nice, nice pot. No, this one has a screw going right into the pot, so it's you're not going to break anything coming off. It's got a screw in there, so it's set in there. It's got a nice base. See, nice base, base so it won't warp from the heat. Stainless steel. It's got a dome lid. So if you're make, I think it's for boiling chicken or turkey because of the, the way the shape of the lid is. When you're making stock, see, I think that's what this is for. The dome is for, it's for when you're boiling chicken, right? So you put the, the legs or something might be sticking up. Turkey, small turkey, chicken, making stock. So I think that's what that is. Meyer. So these are old pots and pans. Meyer. M-E-Y-E-R. Meyer. The new pots these days are crap. 
they are crap. They warp and everything. They're just, they're wasting money. But yeah, so that's what this is. Like these won't work on a convention stove, coil stove or a gas stove only. But yeah. So I got those. And then for the wall, I'm not sure I may put it in my camper. I really don't have anything. I wasn't sure if I was going to take them. And then I figured, oh, YT. I thought, well, that's not my initials. And then I thought, YouTube. <laughs> so I don't know if the lights are any good, but i got to put batteries in them. All right? Stainless steel. YT. YouTube. So I may put these in my camper for the summer. What do you think? Hey, what do you think? Or I can go put them in the wall over there above, uh, above, uh, Dream of Joseph there. But I like to put these somewhere where I can sit and you can see, see these behind me. YouTube. <laughs> Pretty cool, eh? I got those. No, I was at Walmart and they had something there for $3, but I was like, and an outfit for Evangeline. But I knew I was way, way overpriced budget on clothes for her and stuff. So I just, I had to put that stuff back, but I did find a shirt. But I thought I could put this over, like, as a smock, you know, for her. Like, it's a small shirt, but I thought it would look nice as a smock. You know, because the buttons go all the way down. You know, she could use it as a dress. You know, or, or a cover to dress up a dress, you know, to change it out or whatever. Like, remember, remember I got this dress? for her well I thought it could go over I thought maybe it could go over one of her outfits hang on you know and to change it up a little bit you know see like what do you think right I can change it up a little bit for her you know, and then same, same, same with her, um, her dress she got from Auntie Caroline, Auntie Caroline, I thought, you know, like, see, right? I thought I could put this over it too and change it up a bit, unbutton it or whatever and have like a cover for it. Hang on. <laughs> I'm not doing very good. Okay. See, what do you think? Like, you know what? It makes then her outfits, you know, maybe last a little longer, too. See? I can put it over her jeans and I can undo the button, you know? You know, like. Maybe put a snap here and then I can open these up and like use it as like a little smock or whatever. So that's what I was thinking. Anyways, with that shirt for her. And then, um, I like little animals. I collect old animals from the 50s, 60s, 70s. So I got this little bulldog. I collect these little animals. You guys saw my little my little birdie. Now there is something stamped on here so it's not like made in China. 
there is a stamp here in the mold. I have to get I have to get my magnifying glass out. But yeah, this is like probably from 50s, 60s, 70s era. Isn't it cute? I collect those. I have a bird, I have a horse, horse. I really like them. I had a, a pheasant, but I broke it this year or last year. Yeah, I was really unhappy. I broke it because it was old. It was really old and I broke it. And then I got this one to give as a gift for somebody. I haven't decided who or I may have it a giveaway. I don't know. I found this there. It would have to be packed pretty damn good to, to mail this. You know, or I may have it as a giveaway where, you know, my giveaway collection is growing. And it's, but it's a trinket box. So you put, so you open it up and you put your rings or little keepsakes you want to keep in there. It's an orange tree. And it says, they say friends are hard to find. Lucky I know where you are. So that's that one I got. So yeah, that's my haul guys that I got today. Oh, I'm plus groceries, so not a lot. Oh, one more thing I'm passing down. I got this Bible for $10, it's regular $50. It's brand new, well, wasn't used. I got this King James Bible. It's very nice. I got this Bible. It's got a bunch of it in there. Some beautiful artwork. You can hand it down. It's not inscribed or anything to anybody yet. It's presented to you. It's got the genealogy in there. So, uh, I don't know if, what I'm going to do. If I'm going to send it, I'm going to pass it to my boy when he gets married, you know, and put, and put every, if you know, fill in everything in and then he can, I, I, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I thought it was beautiful and I wanted it and it's, it's pretty heavy. It's pretty bulky. It would be too expensive to ship anywhere. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. My sister, she's she's she has a lot of kids, <laughs> and uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll give it to my niece. I haven't decided. Okay. Anyways, I'm gonna go because I am starting to not, not to feel good. Been a long day I like I just came into the door started my video so <laughs> I'm gonna go and go rest put my feet up and you guys all have a good night thank you for watching me and take care bye bye <music>